Wally, congratulations. Um, we do not get many golfers who've gotten into the Hall of Fame in, in recent years, so uh, that's quite an accomplishment to start off with. Um, the current Valpo golf team, and, and Dave Gring is here, uh, play their home meets at, uh, at Aberdeen, which was not around back then. I, I was asking around, where were you guys playing your home meets back then? Uh, Valparaiso Country Club. And, and tell us how you ended up at Valparaiso. Well, short of a miracle. Um, so I like to say, you know, we kind of grew up what was the middle class, but we were really poor middle class. <laughs> and, uh, and it's fitting that my cousins are here and, and one of my best friends, Mike Sockich, um, because we all kind of grew up the, the same way. And, you know, you kind of just have to adapt and overcome and go out and make something of yourself and, and do the right things. Well, to answer your question, we, uh, I had a free ride to Ball State. So my parents were very excited that they didn't have to pay for college. And... <clears throat> Coach Fick calls the first week in August. Now, so you got to remember back then, you didn't sign anything. It was like, okay, you just show up August 15th. You'll be there. So I said, yeah, I'll be there. Ball State, free ride. I'm good to go. So Coach says he's going to come over the like August 6th. And I said, to, I said to him, I said, well, you sure it's worth your, your time and your effort? And because uh, I said, if you can't pay for the whole thing, I, you know, I don't know if I could do this. He said, well, you could pay for most of it. And there is a thing called a student loan, Wally. <laughs> and he goes, well, we'll help you. We'll help you. And I said, OK. So he came over. And my parents really didn't listen too closely. Um, but I was really interested in the fact the the, the university um, the education that they were going to give you versus Ball State was, you know, a level far and above and beyond. And he said, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll graduate here, you're not going pro in golf, but you're going to have, you're going to get a great job once you leave Valpo. And uh, so two days later, I went, saw the university, and he took me around, and I signed up. We beat the Cardinals again. There you go. Um, you guys, want, just like uh, Jackie Thomas, you won a conference championship uh, as well. Tell us about a couple of your favorite memories of uh, that time and while you were at the university. Yeah, I, as a, you know, I always thought golf's individual, but when you're playing for a team, you try and help everybody else get better. And we really thought that we had a shot that year, if, if I could play well. And um, we were able to... <laughs> To miraculously do this, so it came down to the last hole, I was in the last group, and I only had to make a bogey. And uh, I, I literally crushed the tee shot, so I was laughing, you know, going down the fairway. And I know I got less than 100 yards in, it's a par four, but the ball is sitting in this rut. So we get a ruling, and they said it has to be played where it's at because it was made from a golf cart. But I thought, well, should I just ship it out and put it in front of the green and three putt up and we got this. So instead it's like, no, my confidence, my cockiness, I'm gonna show everybody I can hit this shot and birdie this hole. I airmail it over the green, almost out of bounds. <laughs> so now I chip it back down off the green and have to two putt from 60 feet for us to win. And I, and, and I did it. So that, that was one of them. And the, and the other big one was really the Indiana Intercollegiate because I felt as an individual, I can win it. And that was all the, that's all the colleges from Indiana. That's Notre Dame, Indiana, Purdue, Ball State, all the big time schools. And I had 75-69, the number one player from Purdue had 69-75, and I beat him in the first hole in the playoff. So Did the Ball State coach say anything to you? No. <laughs> no, he congratulated me, though. And since your days at Valpo? Um, Valparaiso's 
was awesome. Um, just like Coach said, I had an accounting finance degree. Uh, I did 10 years of acquisitions and mergers for Sam Zell in Chicago. He was one of the wealthiest people in the world. Um, I switched careers and kind of got into engineering side with the steel mills, and I've been doing well there. Congratulations, and uh, one final thought. Yes, I just wanted to, uh, you know, Bill's here tonight, Mr. Steinbrecher, and I wanted to thank him. We had a great four years together. We became close friends, um, and God bless Coach Fick for bringing me on. Thank you. Wally Hannes, everybody.